Did Christ really weep over Jerusalem? Here is one more example of the way in which Calvinists must twist Scripture in defending their strange doctrine. In fact, the expression, children of Jerusalem, or children of Israel, etc., is used throughout Scripture to indicate the people of a city, or country, or race, never its non-adults. When only the young children are meant, the context always makes that fact clear, as the wives also and the children rejoiced. Nehemiah chapter 12, verse 43. The expression, children of Israel, is found 644 times, children of Ammon, 89 times, children of Benjamin, 36 times, children of God, 10 times, And not once in those 779 instances is the reference to non-adults. The specific phrase, children of Jerusalem, is used in Joel chapter 3 verse 6 for the inhabitants of Jerusalem, exactly as Christ meant in his lament. Among many similar references to children and Jerusalem, none of which means it's non-adults exclusively, we find... And in Jerusalem dwelt of the children of Judah, and of the children of Benjamin, and of the children of Ephraim, and Manasseh, First Chronicles chapter 9, verse 3. The children of Judah and Jerusalem, Second Chronicles chapter 28, verse 10, and the children of Israel that were present at Jerusalem, all the children of the captivity, that they should gather themselves together unto Jerusalem. Ezra chapter 10 verse 7. Children of the province that came again to Jerusalem. Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 6. Jerusalem, thy children have forsaken me, and assembled themselves by troops in the harlots' houses. Every one neighed after his neighbor's wife, saith the Lord. And shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Jeremiah chapter 5 verses 1 to 9, etc. There are numerous other similar references, all of which clearly refer to the inhabitants of Jerusalem or some other city or country, and none of which refers exclusively to non-adults. In his great love, Christ is clearly pleading with Israel, as he has through his prophets for centuries, and as he still pleads with the world for which he died.